Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time here. My name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber. So be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today we're going to do another installment of rebuy or goodbye. This is going to be a series, a periodic series where I'm going to come on here and show you things, uh, products, both makeup and skincare that I have used up over the past few weeks, few months, and I'm going to share some brief thoughts on them and whether I will be purchasing them again or just passing on them altogether. So if you guys want to see what's in my empties bag, keep on watching. All right, so let's start first with toner. This is the Neutrogena alcohol-free toner. I have to admit, I'm already on my, I think, fourth bottle. So I've already repurchased this and I've repurchased time and time again. I like this toner. It's gentle, it's effective, and I've always had good luck with it. It's also super affordable. Next up, we have this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. This is the mini size. Now, I just saw on the Sephora website for the holiday, they do have a two-pack of these for $29. And I think one of these individually might retail for $25. So I did enjoy the setting spray, and I'm going to try and pick up that two-pack um, maybe during the Sephora sale. So um, this is really nice. It does provide a glow, and I just like the way it makes my makeup look. So I will definitely be repurchasing this again in the near Near future. Next up is this Marc Jacobs mascara. I don't remember like the full name of this one. This was a nice mascara. I like the whole component and everything, but this mascara always flaked on me. So this one will probably not be something that I repurchase. Next, we have the Tula. This is the probiotics and superfoods 24 7 moisturizer this was a really good moisturizer um i would definitely repurchase this it does have like a very like a clean scent to it but it's very effective in that it really hydrates my skin it didn't cause like any irritation or anything like that i would primarily use this uh at night but you most definitely can use this both am and pm and i do enjoy the tula brand so i will be purchasing this again but just not right away because i'm already trying some new moisturizers Next up is from Garnier. I've been using this product for years. This is the Micellar Cleansing Water. And I always get the one that says all-in-one waterproof because I know that's going to remove my waterproof eyeliner like that Wet n Wild I always use. And it's just really gonna help to break up the SPF and the makeup. Um, I use this primarily just on my eyes, but you most definitely, it's intended for the whole facial area. Um, I already have another bottle that I. I'm working on. Um, this is just always something that's in my stash. It's affordable and it works great. No irritation at all. Next, we have another mascara, and this is from NARS. This is the Climax Mascara. This was the first one. So I have the mini size in their newer Climax Mascara. I forget what that one's called, but it's in a black tube. I like them both. Um, I think I might like the other one a little bit better, but this was a nice mascara. I always got compliments on my lashes whenever I wore this mascara. It's a very lightweight mascara as well. Um, I can see myself repurchasing this, but I do want to Finish some of the other mascaras that I currently have open before I do so. This one, it also kind of flaked on me, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like the Marc Jacobs one. So this was a pretty decent purchase from NARS. Next, I have three of these It Cosmetics. These are the Brow Power. I think I bought all three together as a set from QVC. I wanted to buy the set again. I've used these for years, first and foremost. Um, but I wanted to buy this set again, and I believe they were sold out. So Ulta recently put these on sale, so they were half price. So originally, they're $24 a pencil. So when they had that sale, I ended up picking two more up. And then it also came with like a free travel size one. So I have three. I keep one at work, one at home, and one in my purse at all times. This brow pencil, and let's see, you can kind of see... Um, what it looks like there. Does, they all have a spoolie on them, but this one is in the shade taupe, and you can make this as light or dark as you want. So this just goes with 
you know, pretty much all different hair colors and stuff. So that's why I've always used it. And depending on the amount of pressure that you apply, that's the color it's going to be. I've always enjoyed this. Like I said, I've used these pencils for a good number of years. I would say I've been using these for at least five years and I really enjoy them. I will always have these in my stash. Next is another brow product, and this is also one that I enjoy so, so much. This is from Urban Decay, and this is the Brow Blade. This one I have in the shade uh, Brown Sugar. I liked this. This was a nice color. What I like about this is that you get the pen style on one end, and then on the other end, you get that little micro pencil. So it was really easy. This was like my one and done brows. The only thing is you'll need to bring in a spoolie to comb up your brows and stuff. But this is a really good product. If you haven't tried Brow Blade from Urban Decay, I highly recommend that you do so. They have several different shades to choose from. Um, you can find these wherever Urban Decay is sold. And I believe I have another one of these on backup already. Next, I have these two products from Glow Recipe, which yes, I've already repurchased and I'm already using the new bottles that I have. This is the um, Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. They recently released a like jumbo size of this, so I definitely want to try and get this in the Sephora sale. But I love Glow Recipe products. They have been so effective for me. I've never encountered a product that I don't really love. And this product was no different. So this is the Hyaluronic Acid. And then this product over here is the Niacinamide. This is the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This stuff is amazing amazing. I love the way it makes my skin look. This is a very versatile product in where you can use it as part of your skincare routine or you can use it as a makeup primer or you can use it as a little highlighter to apply on your cheekbones and just to give you like that perfect glow. I use it more so as a skincare, so in the middle of my skincare routine, right before I apply my moisturizer, but I have used this as a makeup primer and it makes my skin look absolutely glowy and dewy exactly the way I want. And both of these items are winners for me. This one comes with a pump. They both have pumps, but I've already discarded the pump and stuff. Um, but you can recycle these jars and I might do that. Glow Recipes products are all glass packaging, so it makes it really easy to recycle and on their Instagram they have a lot of cute ways that you can um, recycle your old glow recipe bottle so I will likely do that because I think the shape and the colors are just too cute and the products themselves are fantastic. Next is the Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. I have another one of these on backup. I bought this when it was a two-pack uh, over the summer, or I believe in the spring or summer at QVC. They had like a two-for-one deal, which was absolutely amazing because this is not an inexpensive sunscreen by any means. You guys know Tatcha is a fairly expensive skincare brand, but I love this product. This product doesn't cause any irritation. It just works beautifully on my normal to oily skin and it doesn't leave a white cast. Yes, it goes on white, but it doesn't leave a white cast behind. No flashback or anything like that. It's just a very comfortable sunscreen to wear. I absolutely enjoy this. I believe the tube that I'm fixing to open is probably going to be the fourth one. So that just tells you how much I love this. This is definitely going to be a repurchase time and time again look for Tatcha sales like Black Friday. This is definitely something I'll be picking up during the Tatcha Black Friday sale. Another skincare item, which I think I have one more squeeze out of this. This is from Drunk Elephant. This is the A Passioni Retinol Cream. They have since repackaged this, so it doesn't come in a squeezy tube like this. It comes in a pump style container. I believe it's a plastic container, but this has been an amazing retinol for me. This has just been so effective on my normal to oily skin. I am 39 years old and I've been using retinol for a few years now. Um, this has proven effective. I like the way my skin looks. I use this only at nighttime. It is a bit on the pricey side as all Drunk Elephant products are, but it's worked. It's worked and this is the second tube that I finish and I will be buying this um, during Black Friday sales because it's just a retinol that agrees with my skin and it doesn't cause any irritation and I absolutely love it. 
Next up, I have my two Wet n Wild eyeliners. These are both the breakup proof liners in the shade black. I have the retractable pencil right here. And then of course I have the pen style on this side. You guys have seen me use these so many times on my channel. It's no surprise to see them in my empties pile. You already know I'm always keeping these in my stash. These are not going anywhere. I love these Wet n Wild eyeliners. They're super affordable and they last. They last all day long and I absolutely love them and recommend them. So guys, here is the other NARS mascara. I guess I finished it up as well. This is the um, NARS, what is it? The Climax Extreme Mascara. This is a nice one, but yes, I have used this up already. You can see kind of just got clumpy after a while, but yeah, um, I had this in my stash for a while. So it's definitely time to discard this one, but I did enjoy wearing it. The packaging on it is pretty cute too. Um, I will likely pick up one of them again, but like I mentioned earlier, not right away because there are some other mascaras that I am trying to finish up. Next up is this Tarte Creaseless Concealer. So this is probably a full tube. I haven't used this much, but I cannot stand the way it has been making my under eye area look. I mean, the shade is great, but for under the eyes, it just accentuates every fine line that I have. And it actually, I think, adds more fine lines, more texture to my under eye area. This used to work for me. It doesn't really work for me anymore. Um, so yeah, I will be discarding this one. Next up is the Sol Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I have gone through so many tubs of this stuff. I love it. I'm in love with this scent. Every time I apply it, I get compliments. People asking, what is that scent that you're wearing? It's Bum Bum Cream. I love this stuff. I love the shower gel, especially. I think I might have the shower gel bottle in here if I didn't include it in my last one, um, but I love the scent. I always have these in my stash, whether I have the mini size, the regular size, or this big jumbo size. This is just so great. It's so hydrating. It just smells like a day at the beach. I love it. Love it. Love it. Next up is from Fenty and this is their blotting powder. It's a white powder. I still have some obviously, but I do need to discard this because it is old. Um, but it was a nice powder for the time that I used it. It does come with a mirror and the compact is cute. I would repurchase this again, but not right now. I definitely have other things in my stash um, that are almost identical to this. So while I think it's a good product, it's just not something I'm going to go out and buy in the near future. And finally, last but not least, this is actually a product I am wearing today. So yes, I have already repurchased this. This is the Beekman 1802 Milk Primer with SPF 35. Love this stuff. This stuff has made it into monthly favorites. Um, I don't remember if I bought it. I think I tried it last year. So it made it into my yearly favorites of 2020. But this is fantastic. This can be a primer. I don't use it as a primer. I just use it as my daily sunscreen. Beautiful. It's very, a very thin, like a milky consistency, exactly the way it sounds and described on the bottle. It just absorbs so well into my skin. And again, it's a very thin consistency. It's definitely lightweight, nothing heavy. If you compare it to the Tatcha Silken, I mean, this one is way more serum like, and this is definitely a thicker cream. So I love these both equally. There is definitely a big price difference. This one is about 60 or $65 for the Tatcha. And then for the Beekman, this is about $30. You can find this at Ulta, but it's often sold out. So I'll have it linked to where wherever I can find it in stock. Um, of course, you can get it on the Beekman website. QVC sells it. And of course, Ulta sells it pretty much wherever Beekman is sold. I'd highly recommend checking either of these sunscreen out because they are really effective. And I just, I've been loving them for a while now. All right, guys. So that wraps up today's rebuy or goodbye 
products that I've used up both skincare and makeup, I will have all of the products that I enjoyed <laughs> linked in the description box of this video. Some of those things might be affiliate links. So if you do end up purchasing, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Have you gone through any of these products? Do I have your favorites in here? Sound off in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.